up to hack code. In this video, we are going to solve the latest code problem, word search 2. We will cover the solution to this challenging problem using the advanced data structures like try and algorithms such as backtracking. This problem is commonly asked in technical interviews and will significantly enhance your problem solving skills. Let's dive in. So given an m cross n board of characters and list of strings words, written all words on the word. Each word must be constructed from the letters of a sequentially adjacent cells with adjacent cells are horizontally or vertically neighboring. So they, so they haven't mentioned it's a diagonal neighboring. Here the same letter cell may not be used more than once in a word. So it's clear, right? Basically, we need to find out what all words are present in the board from the given words. Uh, so here, uh, in example one, we have the board given here, which is a two-dimensional array. So the words given are OAuth, P, Eat, and Rhyme. So here the output is Eat and OAuth. How did we find that? So here, uh, when we see the board, we have the uh, like O followed by A, which is a horizontal neighbor, and then uh, followed by T, which is a vertical neighbor, and same for H. So for E, we find that A is a horizontal neighbor and followed by T. So here. It's clear that we can explore in all like up, down, left and right directions uh, for finding the adjacent cells. So, so let's look at example 2. Here the board given is uh, ABCD and the words is ABCB. So which is not existing right here. So because like uh, if we have to go for ABCB, the path should be ABCB. So here the two constants are violated. One like the diagonal neighbor is not set and B like once it is used we should not use it again so that's why we written our uh, empty list so hope you got the clear picture of the problem statement so le let's look into the constraints here uh, so here M is equals to the board length and N is equals to the board of I of length basically it's a row and column and here M and N lies in the individual range of 1 to 12 uh, the each letter in the board that is like board of I say so it's a lower case English letter so words length lie in the inclusive range of uh, 1 to 10, uh, 3 to the 10 power 4 and uh, each word length is uh, in the inclusive range of 1 to 10. So words of i consists of lowercase English letters and all the strings of words are unique. So this is the boilerplate code. Let's look into the approach. To efficiently solve this problem, we will use a combination of tie data structures to store the words and backtracking algorithm to search for a words in the board. The try uh, allows us to efficiently check prefixes and backtracking enables us to explore all possible paths on the board. So first we build a try. So first here is we build the try. So insert all words into the try to enable the quick prefix checking. Next is backtracking search. So iterate over each cell in the board and start backtracking search if the cell matches the starting letter of any word in the try. Use a recursive uh, helper function to explore all possible paths from the current cell. And then mark cells as visited to avoid reusing them uh, with the same word search. So here the algorithm is first we insert words into the try. So here the first step is to create a try node class with a dictionary of children and a boolean flag to indicate the end of a word. And next is to create a try class with an insert method to add words. Next is our back tracking algorithm. So here uh, first step is to create a helper function backtrack that explores all possible paths from a given cell. Next is for each character we check if it is exists in the current try node and then we recursively search neighboring cells up, down, left, right if the current path is valid. So after that we mark the current cell as visited by modifying the board temporarily and backtrack to its restore its original state. Let's look at the flowchart here. So we start by building the try with the given words. Next, we initialize the result list and then we iterate over the each cell in the board and we check if the cell matches the starting letter. If S, we start backtracking search and then explore all possible paths. So if the word is found, uh, we just add the word to the result. If no, we continue searching and then after that we restore the board state. So because like we initially marked the uh, like letter as visited, right? So after that, once backtracking search is done, we restore the board stating that the letter is not visited. And then we return the result. So, and this is the end of the flow. So let's look into the right end. So let's take the example of the given two dimensional array. Here, uh, the words we need to search are what, P, eat and try. 
So here in dry run, we consider that the tri is already built with the given words. Uh, as covering the tri dry run is out of the scope of this video. In my previous video on implementing the tries, I have covered words try and its representation and try run for inserting and searching a word in the try. So I have provided the link in the description for same. So first here, uh, like as our assumption, uh, we just have some, I'm just representing try like this here. Inserted. So so we have the words what, p, eat, and rhyme inserted in the try. So next is we have to start backtracking search. So we begin with the cell this zero zero. So here this contains wo, and then we explore the all possible pods from here. So here we explore wo. We explore like since this is the end, we can't explore uh, this one uh, like left and up, but we can explore uh, right and down. So here, uh, when we explore right, we found A, and then uh, similarly, uh, we explore uh, for the A, and then we find T and H. So we found the OAuth as, and we add it to the result list, and then uh, we continue to search for the other words. So similarly, if we do that, like uh, we find the eat like this, E, A, T. So hope you got idea of how the algorithm works. Let's look into the code. So here, try node class represents a, each node in the try with a dictionary for children and a boolean flag for uh, marking the end of the word. So here the try class contains the methods to insert uh, words into the try. Uh, this is the method for that. So here the solution class contains the find words method. Uh, this builds a try with the given words, uh, uses a backtracking to explore cell in the board and add own words to the real set and use help a function to recursively search and backtrack. So let's look into the deeper explanation for the try class. So here we have the insert method. So which basically like here initializes the root to the try node and then uh, we have the insert method. So here we first initialize the node to the self dot root and then we process the each character in the word. Uh, so for each character in the word, we check if the character exists uh, or not exists in the node or children. If it doesn't exist, then we create a new try node and then we move to the child node for the current letter or character here. So after all the characters are processed, uh, we mark the like end of the word is true. So hope you got idea of uh, how the insert method works. And then uh, next is our uh, find words method. So here uh, we define a recursive uh, helper function which is ba uh, named backtrack here. So let's look into the function here. So first, uh, we're getting the current letter or uh, what is being processed. As we see here, this takes a parameter uh, row, column, parent, and word path. So we're getting the uh, current letter using the uh, board of row and column. So uh, we're getting the current node, which is in uh, action uh, by using the parent or children letter. So as we see in the same syntax here, right? So basically here, the parent like here it was node parent so node dot children here the parent is like so it, it is passed as parent here so parent dot children of letter so basically we move into the current node which is the letter and then uh, since uh, this is the word path so we are forming the word like which are present incremental like for each letter we are form uh, we are adding up and we're forming the word so uh, and then uh, we're checking if the current node is the end of the word if yes, we add word port to the result and then uh, we mock the is end of the word is false. This is to avoid the duplicates because like uh, this approach mainly prevents us to uh, process a word once more uh, once it has been found. So here is how it works. First we find a word, right? So when we find a word that is like current mm -hmm. node that is end of the uh, word is mocked true, we add to the result set and then uh, we mock the current node dot is end of the word to false to indicate that this word has been already found and processed. So how it prevent duplicates is like if the same sequence of character is encountered again during the search, this sequence will not be considered a valid word since the is end of the word is now false. So this avoids the same word multiple times to the result set. And then uh, next is like uh, we set the mark uh, current cell as visited because we don't want to process again for the same word that we do by uh, representing the current uh, cell uh, as a hashtag here. After that, uh, we trade over the all possibilities uh, from the current cell 
so which is like uh, this is just like taking the x and y coordinates for going up down left and right as we see here like zero one is going up and one zero it's uh, going right and zero minus one it's going down uh, minus one zero it's going left so here uh, based on the offset we find the new column and new row uh, by adding the row to the uh, row offset and column to the column offset uh, and then we check if it is a valid thing because uh, with the edge cases we'll get the like, uh, it added up more than the length of the word so that's why we're checking if it's a valid range uh, so zero less than a new word less than the la length of the board that actually checks if the if it's a valid row range so if it exceeds we should not take it right the row length of the board can be found out by length of the board and then the column can be found by length of board of zero so here we're just checking for the range constraints and if it's a valid range we process it so how we process it like we just check if the new cell is in the uh, current node cell so if s we do the backpacking search here uh, uh, here for the backtrack search we send the new row and the new column in place of the row and column we had previously and then the current node is a parent node here so that's why we send the current node and the word path initially uh, here we uh, send it as a empty string but we have the word path here in uh, like in slice with the current letter so and then it would keep on adding up till it forms a valid word and then here uh, we are restoring the cell uh, because uh, we don't want it to be uh, in the same hashtag state uh, for the next set of uh, iterations, right? So if it is the same uh, hashtag state, like uh, it would be considered as a visited. So that's why we're just restoring it. This is the restoring process. And then uh, here, uh, we're if the node doesn't have any children, we pop it out of the dictionary. This is because we remove the dead end case. So because if the current node children is empty we can remove this node from its parents uh, this helps in cleaning up the try and can reduce the search space so making the algorithm more efficient in subsequent searches so here uh, this ends the backtrack uh, function here and then uh, we just initialize the result set uh, this uh, inside to set because we don't want any uh, duplicates in the result so here also we have the duplicates check uh, by uh, adding the by mocking the is end of the word false here we have a double layer check result is equal to set because like to cover any edge cases so and then we have uh, initialized our try here uh, so for each word in the words we inserting the try so for the row and column length of the board we just processing the two dimensional array and then uh, we check if it is a current cell uh, is in the uh, root or children uh, if s then we backtrack so we use that backtrack function which we defined here so we passing the row column try uh, try dot root and then this is the empty string so which would be uh, the word pass here like that would be processed and uh, accumulated based on the character that is processed uh, and then uh, at the end we just result, uh, written the list of result since like we had instead to be set here, we had to uh, form the list and send it. So that's why you're doing a list of result. So let's look into the complexity analysis. So here the time complexity uh, for building the try uh, is like O of n into L, where n is the number of words and L is the average length of the words. So for searching the board, it is O of m into n into 4 power L, uh, where m is the number of rows, n is the number of columns, L is the length of the longest word. So space complexity. So here the try storage is of uh, n into l, where n is the number of words and l is the average length of the words. So and the auxiliary space here is of l. Here that is basically coming from the recursion stack space, uh, which can go as deep as the longest word. So demo and conclusion. So I've got the code ready here. Let's try submitting this. So yeah, it beats the 90% of the users. So conclusion, in this video, we explored the efficient solution to word search problem using the tries and backtracking. This approach allows us to handle the large inputs and complex searches effectively. Become, uh, understanding this problem and solution will significantly enhance your problem solving skills and prepare you for the technical interviews. Thank you for tuning to this episode of Hack Coding Thoughts. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and more awesome content. If you have any questions or any topics, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time.